Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what reflex epilepsy is, different types of reflex epilepsy, and treatment for reflex epilepsy. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. We appreciate your support. Reflex epilepsy is defined as a specific syndrome in which all epileptic seizures are precipitated by sensory stimuli. Reflex seizures can take a variety of forms, either general or focal onset, with or without secondary generalization. The term reflex dates back to Marshall Hall, who differentiated seizures by peripheral stimuli from central causes, yet being very broad. There are numerous different types of reflex seizures. They can be triggered by lights, temperature, sensation, and stress. In our presentation, we are going to go over a few of the many different types of reflex seizures. Photosensitivity epilepsy is defined as abnormal, clinical, and or electroencephalographic responses induced by visual stimulation. According to the Epilepsy Foundation, examples of triggers are television and computer screens that flicker or rolling images, certain video games containing rapid flashes, alternating patterns of different colors, intense strobe lights, natural light flickering through trees or Venetian blinds, and certain visual patterns, especially stripes of contrasting colors. Taking selfies have become a part of our culture. There is a chance that cell phones may cause reflex seizures. In the article, Selfie Epilepsy, a Novel Photosensitivity, the authors explain a case in which a patient had a seizure while taking a selfie. What was interesting about this study was even though people with epilepsy are warned about strobe lights, cell phones do not have the same warning despite many of them having pulse LED lights. Because this case was based on one patient, no changes or warnings have been put on cell phones, but it is possible that can change in the future. Telephone-induced seizures fall under the category of hearing-induced seizures. Hearing-induced seizures are defined as a rare and heterogeneous group of reflex epilepsies in which the attacks are almost constantly triggered by elaborate and complex stimuli such as music, voices, and other sounds. In the article, Telephone-Induced Seizures, a New Type of Reflex Epilepsy, three cases were studied. Researchers found that the seizure activity occurred in the temporal lobe. Tooth brushing epilepsy is defined as an extremely rare form of reflex epilepsy caused by specific stereotypical stimuli. In the article, epileptic seizures triggered by the use of a powered toothbrush, doctors treated a patient who had been diagnosed with epilepsy for complex partial seizures triggered when using an electric toothbrush. Doctors had the patient discontinue using the electric toothbrush and brush manually and not to brush vigorously. Another case, toothbrushing epilepsy, a case report and literature review, a patient stopped brushing their teeth due to it triggering seizures. The patient developed poor oral hygiene and doctors wanted to learn what was triggering the seizures. An MRI discovered a lesion located on the inferior motor strip consistent with the oral facial motor cortex. After the lesion was removed, seizure activity stopped and the patient was able to brush their teeth without triggering any seizures. Stress is a trigger for many who are battling epilepsy. Under severe emotional stress, it can trigger epileptic seizures. In the article, Emotional Stress-Induced Seizures, Another Reflex Epilepsy, the case involves a nine-year-old child who was having stress-induced seizures due to a toxic relationship with a parent. While in the presence of the mother, the child had high levels of seizure activity at the hospital. When the mother was removed and the father was with the child for the day, 
no seizure activity took place. When the mother returned, seizure activity started up again. For some time, the child was separated from the parents and put into the pediatric psychiatry ward, and within two weeks of treatment and therapy, the child became seizure-free. Over four months, the child was monitored when visiting with the parents, and long-term custody was awarded to the father with the concern that seizure activity could start up again and left in the primary care of the mother. According to the Epilepsy Foundation, medications such as Velproate, Colazepam, Cabazem, Lamotrigine, and Phenobarbital can be used to control reflex seizures. It is important to understand what can trigger someone to have a reflex seizure. Once they know what triggers their seizures, it is best to do everything to prevent it from happening. Keeping a seizure journal can be a good tool to see if a patient can find a pattern of what is triggering their seizures and what they can do to prevent them. In conclusion, reflex epilepsy is defined as a specific syndrome in which all epileptic seizures are precipitated by sensory stimuli. Reflex seizures can take a variety of forms, comprising either general or focal onset with or without secondary generalization. It is important to find out what triggers someone's seizures to prevent and reduce seizure activity. Along with learning what triggers someone's seizures, certain anticonvulsant medication can help to control seizure activity as well. To learn more about reflex epilepsy, please check out our resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.